Good morning. Happy Saturday. I am doing a weekend vlog and we're going to go to the market. First, I'm going to show you my fridge and this photo. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, let me show you my fridge. This is this is going to be a mess. Okay, so it actually looks pretty full, but I promise it's not. <laughs> um, all we have in here is we have some sauces. We have part of a half of a watermelon, some bread, a cauliflower that's massive. That's cat food. This is some cabbage. This is leftover blackberry jam. That's all. That's celery, mushrooms, and then like nothing. So we need to fill this fridge. And also, I'm actually out of every single potato. <laughs> I have one mango and one tomato, so we need food here. And then also, we're looking we're looking bare in the kitchen today. And since I let myself run out of potatoes, we're gonna have cobbler for breakfast in the car. What are you saying about me? What are you telling people? doesn't like unsugared coffee. We got our ice packs because when we go to the market in Trader Joe's, it's a long day because we live an hour from everything. Uh, tomorrow we're going bowling with his parents. I'll see if they'll let me vlog. If not, I'll just vlog us bowling. Um, we're going to the market. We're going to go pick up my my ring. Again. Broke. Um, thank God for insurance and Kate Jewelers. And... Probably the botanical gardens because I'm obsessed. That's the routine at this point. That's what we do. Okay, I'll see you in the car. What you doing? Organizing. We take our own produce bags to the market so they don't have to use plastic bags or anything. And we have a little cooler because, like I said, it's a full day because we go into town once a week, basically. So we are going to a crystal shop for the first time since we moved. Um, haven't been to any here in Birmingham, so I'm excited. I will show you a farmer's market haul when we get to the house with everything. It's just, there's so many people here. It just would make sense to sit there and try to do that. And it's also real hot. But yeah, we're gonna go to a crystal shop and then probably Whole Foods and get a piece of pizza and go to the botanical garden yeah and go to the botanical gardens and have a little picnic day which thing i like it sounds good okay. We did not go to Whole Foods for lunch. We actually went to a place we used to eat at before we went vegan when we lived here before. Red Pearl Restaurant and it's Asian. Uh, it's like all Just kinds of different home. cuisines. It was so good. I was surprised at how many options they could make vegan. Like they had um, a whole vegetable section and a tofu section and they said that most of those were naturally vegan anyway. So we had General Tso's tofu, Kung Pao Tofu, Nick, how we shared the general sauce. And then I had my favorite rice noodle dish, which was a chow mein foon vegetable without egg, and it was delicious. Now we're going to Trader Joe's. Um, going to that restaurant, though, is a little bit of a throwback because we used to live, like, directly next to it in a rural, sketchy apartment complex. So, um, yeah. But anyway, we got some stuff, too, at the market because there's a market in there. And they had seaweed snacks in a big pack. Hallelujah. They got a spiss of though. Seaweed snacks used to be like five bucks for a bunch and it was like eight. Is 
that a chicken? Yeah. Oh, it's always been chicken. Anyway, we're on our way to drink. I was gonna try to film in Trader Joe's. Um, there were so many people, as always. Um, and we always do a Trader Joe's taste test on Instagram stories, so we're gonna do that. But it's very small this week because everything is so expensive. Uh, but and there wasn't a lot I wanted to try. I'm trying to be healthy, you know. So on that note, I'm ready to go to the house. Okay, so I could barely fit all the groceries on here. We had to do a big restock today because, like I showed you, we were out of a lot of things. I need to get this stuff in the freezer, so I'm going to start with the frozen. These are the Trader Joe's Oat Non-Dairy Frozen Sandwiches. There's six. I really like these. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so also frozen Japanese fried rice. Just got one bag of that. I'm making fried rice this week, and I kind of use that as a base. Uh, rice cauliflower stir fry. I also really like that. I'm doing nachos again this week, so we got a package of beefless ground. Trader Joe's is my favorite for that. And then I got three bags of broccoli. There wasn't room on here, but just trust me, three of the Trader Joe's bag of broccoli. I actually went to three places this week. Sorry if you can hear my dogs walking. Organic baby lettuce mix. Love that. A um, pound bag of organic whole carrots. And then I also went to the Asian market, so I got three kinds of mushrooms. I'm making this, like, mushroom rice inspired by Mommy Tang. Got my Taki mushrooms. These just, like, little fresh Meiji mushrooms. And then Enoki mushrooms. I'm putting some stuff in here as I go so I can have room. Um, Trader Joe's, I got sliced baby bella mushrooms. I'm going to make a stroganoff. I did not get white wine. And apparently you use white wine in it, but it wouldn't have got drink otherwise. Um, wanted to try this. I saw how Sweet Simple Vegan try this, so we're going to see how we like it. Vegan spinach and cashew ravioli. Nutritional yeast from Trader Joe's because I'm pretty much out of that. Um, mushroom flavored dark soy sauce from the Asian market. So, yep, there's that. Uh, Taboki from the Asian market. I've always wanted to try this. I found this one. It's vegan. All-purpose flour from Trader Joe's. It's a little more expensive there, but it's fine. Uh, a package of macaroni noodles and fusilli noodles. We're out of pasta. Corn tortilla chips for nachos. A little dill plant. It was like two bucks. My husband has a snack back there. I got two of the soy beverage from Trader Joe's. Those are just my favorite soy milk. Got a package of Trader Joe's and gnocchi. Again, I was out of all on gnocchi. Out of barbecue sauce, um, I saw Sweet Simple Vegan try this one as well. And I'm going to put this on my husband's Lentil Joe's. Asian Market, I got two of these curry paste cans. Now, I usually have the big one on hand, like the big container. But these are great because they're like single serving curry paste. So, two of those. Uh, turmeric, I was out of turmeric. I'm also out of cumin seed, but didn't find that today. Um, I got some potatoes. These are gold potatoes from Trader Joe's because they were out of their bag russet, which led me to get these um, Japanese sweet potatoes. So I got these. I got limes and lemons from Trader Joe's. And I got some raw cashew pieces. I've got these on a towel because these are a little soft, but these are fresh strawberries. I could literally smell them walking up to the farmer's market today and you'll see some clips of the market but fresh strawberries from the area um these are actually tomato or the, sorry these are tomatoes i know they're like an interesting shape they're really good i already tried one but yeah yellow tomatoes and then i got some baby squash baby squash is my favorite i got some cucumbers from the farmer's market and some onions from there as well as this, some kind of melon. I don't remember, I think she said champagne melon, maybe? Can't be sure. 
also from the Asian market, big bag of seaweed snacks because I don't have an Asian market near me, so I got one while I was there. And then I saw these at Trader Joe's, and I've never seen them at Trader, or Trader Joe's anyway. So we're good on seaweed snacks for a bit. Can of coconut milk and light coconut milk, two cans of garbanzo beans, and some rice sticks. So that is everything I got today. Whew. So I haven't really updated you much this afternoon because there's not really been much happening for dinner. We ate cauliflower assorted sauces and some tortilla chips because I had a bunch of like random bits in my fridge. I um, think I'm going to take a bath and do a face mask. I got this don't look at me fresh face mask from Lush today. Um, so then you use it by July 4th. That is not gonna happen. Um, but it's vegan. A lot of most things at Lush are. This one is bright blue. Um, so yeah, basically I'll do this, I think, in the bath. And I got a soap from there, but I really went in for this day. It's one of those refrigerated masks. So we're going to do that. Um, ate a few chocolate chips, not even going to lie. But yeah, so it's been a good day. I'm currently, hold on. These dogs. I was just writing in my planner and like, I used my planner kind of like a journal diary situation, like what I did that day. But yeah, let me show you the fridge. She's looking much better. <laughs> this spun you around real quick. Uh, she's looking a lot more full. Got the mushroom section for now. We'll call call it that, I guess. It ain't focusing. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what to do. Ugh. Okay, this is the mushroom section, we'll call it for now. The ravioli we're going to try. We gotta eat this watermelon because it's gonna go bad. For it, keep it in the fridge, okay? Don't judge me. We have a full veggie drawer. Cucumber stick could go in there, but there's, I need more fruit though. Oh, look at these strawberries. I'm so excited. I'm probably gonna eat those tomorrow. They need to be eaten real soon because they look kind of rough. I ain't gonna lie. They smell so good though. They're so small and I love this kind. Anyway, we have a nice full fridge and then finally my asian drawer is stocked there's so many seaweed snacks in here and just goodness we finally have potatoes these tomatoes are just the coolest like ugh. can't get over these and i got some avocados ripening i have one mango that i need to eat and then I want to show you, so I went to a thrift store for the first time here the other day, or yesterday. It was expensive, but I found these. Okay, these weren't expensive. These were $1.49 each, which is more than the thrift stores I'm used to. They're not branded or anything, or they don't have a brand, whatever. But how cute are these? Because I needed some small, like, dessert plates. Did I already chip one? No, okay. Um... I needed some small like dessert plates because this is a small plate I have and that is definitely a salad plate. <laughs> so, it looks really cute right there. Ugh, I love it. I gotta put my cast iron away, but it goes under there, which is, here, I'll show you this. I didn't show this in my house drawer. But like this is where all of the extra like appliances and stuff that I don't use every single day live. Okay, I do use that rice cooker almost every day, but I haven't used medicine in a while. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, this is the extras. And my cast iron lives in the back under there. So she's gotta get put back in there. So anyway, I also need to like replenish the tea because we're looking a little, little sad. So yeah. My cats are eating. If you think it's weird that they eat on the surfaces, I will clean them, obviously. So, yeah, let's go take a bath. In honor of being more real, I'm in a towel and I'm hungry. 
and healthy me when grocery shopping. So we have strawberries and some leftover coconut whip topping. This is what we're eating. Standing up by the sink. It's like This literally has 10 calories per two tablespoons. I heard about strawberries. Mm -hmm. Good morning. It is Father's Day, my least favorite day of the year. But that's okay. Because <laughs> Nick has a dad and a stepdad. And we're gonna save both today. Uh, we're going bowling with his dad and stepmom, and then his sister's birthday is also today, and obviously it's Father's Day, so we're going over to his stepdad's house later. Might get in the pool. We'll see who is up for a vlog today. Probably not a lot of people, but also I don't know if they're really gonna care. So anyway, uh, breakfast was just like a little hash that that I made. Um, not feeling great today, not gonna lie, but it's okay. Nick looks amazing in the shirt and the bright shirt's helping us, so we're gonna go to Home Goods before we go bowl. Because I need a fruit basket, the hanging one, because there's not enough space on my counter for, I need more potato room. That's really what it comes down to. I need more room for, for potatoes. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. So it's like 9.30 at night and we haven't eaten dinner. I've been cleaning and I deep cleaned the air fryer that took 30, 45 minutes. But I am making a mushroom rice dish. I think this recipe is on my Instagram. Um, but this is inspired by Mommy Tang's. And basically this is just some sushi rice under here. Water. And then I have three different kinds of mushrooms that I've cut up. I've got mataki. Um, and yoki, and then these like brown shimmy. I don't know if that's how you say that. Um, I usually use beach, but those just look really good. So I do like a one to or one to one and a half ratio. I have a lot of mushrooms in here, but that's how I like it. So you literally just put the rice, put the mushrooms, cover it till the water is absorbed, and we'll check back later. Okay, so I added some green onion, sesame seeds, sesame oil yondu and soy sauce and maybe like a tablespoon of butter not a lie vegan butter of course and i'm letting the bottom crisp up a little bit more and then we're just going to eat in a bowl and i've got some seaweed snacks sriracha yum hey wuna i just wanted to go ahead and wrap up this video i look like a mess but it is what it is <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are not already, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and turn on bell notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.